Weather Center with meteorologist Griffin Hardy and you are tracking some wet weather for tomorrow. They've had such good weather to clean up with these last couple of days. Yeah, today and yesterday, both just gorgeous. It was warmer than average where we got up into the 80s the past couple of days. Sadly, though, if you like the 80s, uh, they're they're long gone for at least the next week because it's going to be definitely cooler or near average for the next week. Live look at Tuscaloosa right now. Lights on in Bryant Denny Stadium as they get closer to a day. They're going to have a big game there this weekend. Of course, a day being the springtime scrimmage for Alabama. 61 degrees in Tuscaloosa now sitting at 65 in Birmingham as well as in Coleman. Many spots except for Jasper all in the 60s right now. 60 in Anison and 60 in Talladega as well. It's a clean sweep of the radar if you don't count the ground clutter that's showing up on radar. That typically happens this time of day. Usually the radar beam gets deflected back down towards the ground a little bit, so you can pick up on bugs or leaves or pretty much anything, but that's not rainfall. Uh, we're dry out there, and a lot of these storms that we had down in Louisiana have now pushed back down into the central Gulf of Mexico, but they had some really significant wind gusts down near Lake Pontchartrain earlier today on the order of around 50 miles per hour thanks to what's called a wake low event. It's a rare event that usually happens with storm systems like this. More storms in progress over Oklahoma. That is part of the system that's headed our way tomorrow. That's what's going to give us the wet weather that we're expecting. Uh, starting around 8, 9 o'clock in the morning is when we'll see these showers begin to lift. Uh, lift into the area and it'll could turn uh, pretty heavy at times with the rainfall later in the afternoon. Definitely some rumbles of thunder possible, maybe some brief gusty winds, but not expecting any sort of uh, organized severe weather with this. This will just be general run of the mill thunderstorms and that continues through the early evening hours. I think later into the evening this should begin to taper off a little bit. Here's 9 p.m. Mostly looking at just cloud cover, but you notice those temperatures. They're definitely getting cooler as soon as that front comes through. We're pretty quickly going to start cooling off and there may be a couple leftover showers heading into Thursday morning, but by Thursday afternoon the clouds push out of here. The sunshine comes out, but we stay cool. We're only going to be topping out Thursday afternoon in the upper 60s. And speaking of a day, here's that a day forecast for Saturday kickoff time at noon. It'll be definitely on the cooler side. Uh, there may be some showers before the game starts, but I think uh, by the time we get to kick off, most of those showers will have lifted and same story down in the plains. Auburn has their a day as well. Uh, kickoff time at 1 p.m. there and the same story, uh, mostly just looking at morning showers before the game starts and then after the game gets going, I think we'll see most of those showers dry out. And of course, the Magic City Classic happening Saturday kickoff time 630 p.m. over at Legion Field. It's going to be dry, but on the cooler side, you're definitely going to need a lighter jacket if you're headed out there. The temperatures will be in the upper 50s and still just a lot going on this weekend. We got the Grand Prix of Alabama happening at Barber Motorsports Park a lot nicer with more sunshine and temperatures in the low 70s for that green flag, which happens at around 2.45 p.m. So here's that seven day forecast. No 80s in the near future, that's for sure. We're looking at mostly 60s and 70s for high temperatures. And in the morning, it's going to be pretty chilly, especially Friday morning, looking at 45 for your morning low there. But thankfully, rain chances holding off beyond tomorrow.